This tool completely changed the way that I design and allow me to do things that I never thought were possible. It took me some practice, but I finally mastered it. And today I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that too. Ciao besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Viviana and if you're new here, on this channel we talk about branding, we design entire brands from scratch and we have a lot of fun. So if this is your thing, then hi, nice to meet you. Today we have a highly requested topic. Ever since I started posting Posting content on social media I've had questions about this so why not make an entire video about it the tool that I'm talking about the tool that changed my life and I cannot live without is my graphic tablet every time I show it in a reel a TikTok, or here I get questions about it so in this video we're gonna go over everything what tablet I use how does it work my tips to improve and lastly how you can use it to create your designs and really take them to the next level but before jumping in you know the drill if you find value in this content please make sure to show your support by liking the video all right so first of all this is my tablet she's my baby and i love her very much this is a wacom intos s i've had it for over two years now and we have been very happy together personally i think that if you're a designer who doesn't really do elaborate illustrations this is the perfect product for you this is probably the most affordable model available i bought it for around 80 euros at the time and i think that the price range is still pretty much the same but again i don't really think you need more than what this tablet offers it's really great this video isn't sponsored by wacom by the way i wish even though the last time i talked about this on tiktok they left a comment so hi anyway if you're just getting started or you're interested in investing in something like this this is what I've been using for the past two years and I absolutely love it. I love it because it allows me to do things that I couldn't really do with a mouse or trackpad. My specialty now is manipulating typography and before getting a tablet, I never even thought that I could do something like that, like ever. But every designer is different. I know incredible designers who work just using a mouse and that works for them. So it really just depends on you and how you design. I felt really limited using a mouse. If you're experiencing something like this, then maybe consider giving this a try because this took my design skills to a whole other level. But how you may ask? Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly how. But before that, let's talk about why you might need it and how it's different from a mouse. Because personally, I didn't know any of this before buying one. A graphic tablet isn't a direct substitute to a mouse. They do the exact same thing, but they work in a different way. When you're using a mouse, you have to physically drag your cursor from one side of the screen to the other. If you're here, you wanna go there, you have to move your mouse all the way there, right? Graphic tablets do not work like that. When you're using a tablet, you have to treat it as your actual screen. For example, if you click here, you're gonna click on the top left part of the screen. If you wanna go there to the opposite side, you don't have to drag your pen, you just click there. It's basically like your phone. When you're tapping on your phone, you don't drag your finger all over the screen, right? You just tap it. And that's pretty much how it works. The way that your hand moves, it's completely different and that's why it takes a little bit of practice to train your hand to move that way. Your first instinct is gonna be to drag the pen, but once you get that you don't have to, you're gonna be fine. Then of course, the tablet has a lot of settings. For example, here there's a couple of buttons and also here the pen has some buttons. For example, this button here is the right button of your mouse. You can customize everything to your liking. I'm not an expert on this stuff. I'm gonna leave a link below for more info. But getting started can be hard and confusing. When I first bought it, I remember thinking, what have I done? why did i just spend all this money i get it but eventually i got the hang of it and now i feel lost without it i get so many messages from people at that stage where you don't know what you're doing and you think that you're never gonna learn how to use it but guys just like most things in life the secret is pretty simple practice the moment i got it i started using it as much as i could i did exercises and i really took my time to learn it and here's how i did it first of all wacom tablets come with a free software that you can use there are a couple software to choose from some are for drawing other are for comics or photo editing choose whatever you feel like you're gonna use the most but if you're getting the tablet with the goal of improving your drawing skills or manipulating typography in my case then i would suggest choosing a software for that at the time i chose a software called coral painter from the moment i bought my tablet i started sketching and then drawing mind you i'm not an illustrator i'm not good at drawing but that didn't matter 
that wasn't the point those drawings weren't meant to be posted they weren't meant to be seen by anyone other than me i don't know why but to me that was the best way to train my hand to use the pen from the tablet like an actual pencil i didn't open any of the adobe softwares for weeks when i first got it well i have to say that i got my tablet at the very beginning of the first ever quarantine so i had plenty of time to practice i understand that if you're a working designer or if you're trying to be one you might not have all of this time my advice is just use the tablet i know it's silly but there's not much else to say the more you use it the more you're going to be comfortable with it you're not going to be good at something that you don't know at the very beginning that's normal but trust me you will get it i'm someone who gets very frustrated with change and learning something new my brain has a really hard time doing these things without wanting to drop everything at any minor inconvenience so if i did it you can do it too now if we want to get more specific and talk about designing and manipulating typography first of all i have a whole video about that about manipulating type and what my favorite tools are so if you haven't seen that already you can check that out when it comes to manipulating typography you don't have to draw your letters from scratch most of the times i simply use a letter as base and then work around that other times i merge two different fonts type manipulation doesn't equal type design you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time sometimes just adding a little bit of personality to your logo is more than enough i'm going to show you exactly what i mean this is a logo that i made for a real client and i think that this is the perfect example as you can see i started with a really rounded and fun font but i wanted to make it more unique to my client so i manually edited every letter one by one then i noticed that the m and the i could connect in a cool way so i tried a couple of different versions until i came up with this if you want to try something like this but you've never done that before try sketching it on paper first then once you get the exact shape that you want recreate it on adobe illustrator it's gonna be so much easier because you already drew it your hand knows exactly what to do and how all you have to do is just recreate the exact same movement with your hand but using your graphic tablet this works great when you're starting out but as you go on and get more comfortable using your tablet you won't need to sketch anymore you can sketch Skip that part to me manipulating type using a tablet is way more intuitive i feel more free to try something new because it is exactly like drawing recently i didn't have access to my tablet and i got a really good idea for a client logo and i wanted to see if it worked so i plugged in my mouse and i started working on it and uh well let's just say that it wasn't what i was picturing but then i realized that it wasn't because it was a bad idea it was because i was using a mouse i got very frustrated because i knew that the idea had potential i just couldn't execute it like i wanted to so i sketched it on paper first and after many 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 tries i finally got what i wanted and still i knew that i needed my tablet to clean it up once you really learn how to use your tablet you can skip the sketching part especially if you don't feel like it belongs to your creative process like me also to be honest getting things done fast is very important to me i juggle a lot of things and i cannot spend hours and hours on a logo when i know that i could do that in half of the time you know but enough with the talking come with me on adobe illustrator and let me show you how much fun it is to manipulate type using your graphic tablet this is also a great exercise to practice feel free to follow along or try this later take a letter of your choice and try to come up with four different ways to manipulate using the pencil tool the pencil tool is the closest thing that we have to an actual pencil so using it with a graphic tablet is just perfect so here we are i've chosen the letter a as an example and as you can see we have the letter here four times and now i'm gonna copy everything and we're gonna manipulate each letter in a different way starting off with the first a i want to do something very simple so let's grab the pencil tool and just round up this edge like here this happens a lot someone told me recently that they couldn't figure out type manipulation because this kept happening well it does to me as well it's very normal you just have to just do it a couple of times until you get it like this okay so this is pretty much what i wanted to do honestly i'm using this smooth tool to kind of make the curve a little bit smoother and there you have it with just one simple edit you have created a basically a different letter now this letter feels a little bit more friendly more fun it looks like it's smiling let's go on to the second one we're gonna do something a little different so we're gonna use first of all the rubber tool and we're gonna just get rid of this so we can work more freely with this so what i want to do is kind of create a curve that kind of goes up i'm gonna show you <laughs> something like this now let's just get rid of 
this because I don't like this. And same thing here, you can use the other tools to help you out. This is pretty much what I wanted to do. Again, very simple. Now the letters feels more dynamic. Next up, we have this other letter where we're gonna focus on this part here. Basically, what I wanna do is kind of create something like this. And again, we're gonna grab the smooth tool to kind of smooth this because what is going on? What is this? Of course, it's not gonna be perfect. You can always fix it. And that's what I love about manipulating typography. This is a completely different letter. It is a little bit more funky. It is still very easy to read as an A, but it has a little bit of personality, you know? And then for the last letter, we're gonna use the rubber tool again to get rid of this part because we're gonna do something a little bit more creative, I guess. So first of all, for this side, we're gonna just draw this side like so. I actually want this to be a little bit thicker. Then we're gonna create something like this. I've had this idea and uh, okay. I don't know what this is exactly, but it is kind of different. Maybe we can just arch this a little bit more. This kind of looks like either fire or a leaf. I don't know, but I love it. And it still reads as an A. These are four ways that you can use the pencil tool to manipulate typography. They're very easy to execute when you're using a graphic tablet because as you saw, I was just drawing. So in conclusion, if you weren't sure about investing in a tablet, I hope that this video changed your mind. My design life has completely changed and I never see myself going back to a mouse like ever again. I hope that I've answered all of your questions. If not, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and let me know in the comments what you guys think have you ever tried designing with the tablet or do you swear by your mouse of course subscribe to the channel for more content like this i have so many videos design videos brand design videos i do a little bit of everything so i hope that you will find something useful or entertaining follow me on all my social media instagram is my main platform so you can go and find me there i wasn't gonna say anything but this is a little surprise if you made it to this part of the video very cool things are coming so keep your eyes peeled and make sure to follow me everywhere because you will not want to miss this we have talked about money in type and how so if you want to see how i use a letter that i designed from scratch in a branding project then check out this video here thank you so much for watching i will see you again in another video next week ciao